Hey guys, 8BitSquid here and welcome to another Unity Playmaker tutorial. Now, in this video, we are going to carry on with jumping and we're going to get our player uh, double jumping. Um, so, in the last tutorial I did, I showed you how to do a jump. Now, this is based off this tutorial, so if you haven't watched that, you can check out the card in the top right corner. But basically, our player can move, and then when we press space, he will jump. But uh, he won't jump more than once until he hits the ground. And obviously, we also have air control, so when we jump, we can move left and right. Okay. So, the double jump is just really simple. So, first thing we need to do, we're going to add a new state, and we're going to call this one double jump with a question mark. And we're going to change our jump to go to here. And we need to add two events, a yes and a no. So, I've already got them here. So, it's going to create two new events under events called yes and no. And we'll add them to here. So we're going to add a yes and no. And no is going to go to there. Now, in here, we want to do a float compare, as you see here. And we're going to add a new global variable called jumps. Why did I mistype that? Let me just try again. Global variables, jumps. Okay, so I've actually already created it earlier. Uh, so we'll go to jumps. Let me just get rid of the one I miscreated here. Yes. Okay. And we're going to set that to one. <clears throat> and then we want to copy our input here and our jump here. So we can just control and see them and then paste them. It'll make it easier to do. Okay, and then we're just going to put them up here, just like that. Okay, and then grounded, we're just going to link that to ground here. And then double jump, yes, is going to link to here. And then that's basically it. But we just need to set it up here. So we're going to say equals to, so double jump, yes. Less than is going to be no. Greater than, yes. And now that should technically work. Now, he's not going to double jump straight away. So, as you'll see here, <clears throat> we're going to press jump, and it's going to go to no. Because at the moment, our double jump value is zero. So we can only do one jump. And this is handy because you can create like in your game items what you pick up which will actually then enable you to double jump but for the sake of this tutorial because maybe you don't want to do that we're just going to our player variables and we're going to go to the cog here and choose global variables go to jumps and when it says value is set that to one and now let me just make that a bit bigger if we hit play <clears throat> and we hit enter one two we now double jump one two done one two done jump now the only problem is when he lands if we don't do the double jump yeah he's now just waiting for the input again so what we want to do here is Add a collision and 2D event. Go to ground, send event, and we'll put grounded on here. And then we're going to link that to our first one here. And we'll put grounded. So now, <clears throat> when we hit play, wait for it to compile again. 
press enter, he jumps, he lands, and it goes back to our first state. Um, so now he will always just do a double jump when in the air, and we can't do anything more than a double jump unless we actually want it to. And that is it. It was that simple. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, hit the like and also subscribe for more tutorial videos for Playmaker. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, 8-Bit Squid out.